fifth, respectively. It has been an incredible day as far as upset goes, and I mean, no time wasted whatsoever as we're hopping into Akula versus the Buzz. This is on the winner's side of things to go into the winner's side of top 20, or sorry, top 24. Yep, yep. And DeBuzz has done it before. We saw the summit run where DeBuzz was able to take out Akula before he unfortunately lost in the run back, but we know it's something that he is capable it's of. It's there. The blueprint is there. It's just a question of whether or not he's updated enough for this new version of Akula. How far has Akla improved in this little Rosalina and Luma matchup? So yeah. far, not looking so hot. 71% the wrong direction for Akla. And it has been almost all back air all the time on the side of the bu to buzz. Coming actually very hot mm. off the back of that fourth place at Kagarigi. So he, he's got to be feeling really, really good about how it's going right now. Hey man, it's a nice back air. He's going to get another one. Continue to just keep Akla off to the side. 27% is all that he's taken, and it just does not look to be getting better, but clearing a Luma, that might fix things up a little oh bit here for DeBuzz. He's already got one! Man, the fair deep offstage, and DeBuzz showing no sign of slowing down as Akula loses that first stock, and more than willing to just maintain the center stage, DeBuzz knows what the win condition is, and it seems to be firmly planted within the realm of this back air. You are going to see those legs get a workout for Rosa. There we are. Still keeping with the outside, trying to find that bear again. I think it just cuts across at such a good angle. You go, you go for minecart, you're gonna tap that top head of Steve. You're not gonna, needing to worry about any sort of like problematic angling. Look at that. Again, it just, it's ready, it's waiting, and shoot, it's working. Yeah, man, and the buzz has just looked like in full control of this game. Mm. Uncle has been finding a couple hits here and there, and a couple hits. Oh, that's all that needs. Steve really, really needs, and so. Now stuck at the ledge behind the wall and DeBuzz saying, swing first. Yeah. Swing first, I'm not going anywhere. Standing behind the wall like Obi-Wan watching Qui-Gon. But instead it's just a Luma, you know, <laughs> sitting across. <laughs> All right, Luma down. So just old fashioned Rosalina versus Steve. The F-Smash comes out fast and furious. Ooh, no pick. Yeah, he's out of the pick now. He's gonna build the diamond and now this gets much, much scarier for the side of the DeBuzz. The back air will kill, the up smash will kill, the F smash will kill, the minecart will kill, the anvil will kill, and the killing will kill. And Akala takes that stock only 70% to his name. Not too, too bad. Mm. It, all right, juggling up and down the stage right now. Akala trying to even the percents back up, and then all it takes is one Steve combo mm. to put it right back to just about even and no longer even. We're squarely in an Akula lead. It looks so clear that DeBuzz had figured things out, but Akula's figured it out as well. It's just back air, it's just one move. How do I you know, manipulate this? Oh my Not well gosh, Not man. well enough, I'm a liar. And this, like, for a game that's lasted three minutes at this point, it's pretty incredible that, you know how fast these stocks are flying? Akula managing to take the stock at 70%, and then DeBuzz going deep off stage with the back air, Ooh. managing to take Akola off the side and nearly even percents after how dominant it looked at the start. Akola doing a great job of coming back into Buzz, doing a great job of staying level-handed in this game one. Just good stuff all around. Both players swinging hard. Okay, Akola swing a little harder there. Diamond Bear gonna deal some damage. Okay. The one block at the ledge, you, you, you never know. You never know. Oh, oh, wow. We know that one to Buzz. What a fierce little fist pump there. You know that he's ready for this one. You know he's engaged. And man, I love what DeBuzz has been doing this game. And I, just, and I know it's just game one. I know it's just game one, but De you still can love it. DeBuzz looks very, very good coming into this one. And I think the main thing is we're not seeing him totally commit to that slow style of play, right? We're seeing moments of it. Yep, sure. Uh, that, you know, the classic DeBuzz play that we kind of expect from him, the slower side of things, but he's choosing those moments to turn the gas on, right? Yep. Going deep off stage with the back air, making sure that he's able to get those early conversions. It's like DeBuzz just kind of is able to flip that switch now to where yep. before maybe he didn't go for those big plays. Now he's going for them and they are working. Alcala, though, you know, started a little slow at that first yeah. game and managed to bring it back. So if he's able to kind of mitigate that slow start, I imagine this game will be very, very close. Oh, without a doubt. It, it's hard to imagine literally anything else right now. Both players are really in each other's grill. Like, we're in for maybe not a long one, but at the very least a good one. Yeah, absolutely. Now, 
Alcala back at the ledge as Debuzz sets up this wall of Luma and using the dash attack, the fair, everything to set up Ooh, these combos. Okay, come on, kid. On the back hit, man, the tricky stuff is coming out. And Debuzz, the king of Rosalina tech, I feel like there's no one really in the game who does it quite like him on this character. Not anymore. There was a, a certain SoCal Rosalina and Luma that I, I would have loved to say was the, was the tech god, but... <laughs> another day, man. Another yeah. day, another day. If they come back. I'll call come it, back. though, man. Taking 80% almost unanswered and then answering right back. And sometimes, man, the power of Steve in these moments, so, so good at making those comebacks so, so good at ensuring that he, the lead does not build too much. And now, we've seen this a lot from him this weekend, man. Building the wall behind himself so that he doesn't die to anything sending in that direction. And able to find the diamond forward smash means that DeBuzz's stock is more than expired. Yeah. I mean, someone on Twitter said it best. Just turns the game into a little realm of Mishima Dojo. Yeah. There's no way of getting knocked out until you break out of the little box. And shoot, he's playing well within the box and thinking outside of it all the time. Yeah, man, it's such a strong, like, just option for these guys. Yeah. Uh, and specifically, Aquila making fantastic use of it lately. Now stuck at the ledge behind his own wall. All right, goes back to the ledge, and oh. the roll is caught to Buzz. Trying to catch the jump out of the minecart, but doesn't quite get it. Now back into the neutral. Oh, no. Okay, doesn't get touched up. Just the one up tilt. Yo, oh, there we go. Okay. A God. No, man, uh, a little bit of a miss from Aqua on the up tilt into the up smash. That is a true combo, but like I said, a little bit of a miss is going to allow DeBuzz to take that stock. Oh. But 82% with Diamond on Aqua and plenty of iron in the back yeah. pocket. This stock feels like almost a matter of time as Aqua has more than adjusted to this Rosalina. Yeah, it's a question of what can DeBuzz put on before he gets out. If he can put up like 70, maybe 80%. I think we're in business, but if we just keep on falling apart here, if we keep on letting this percent rack up and just lose a stock for 45% on Aqua, I'm not liking his chances of bringing this game back. But right now, right now we're looking okay. Yeah, man, it just it, it is so hard, and we've seen oh, people God. struggle throughout the weekend and throughout even the pre-local. We're trying to get through this wall from Alcala. He's been living to 150% oh. plus consistently just off the back of it. And so DeBuzz needs oh. a lot more damage and the hard call out on the getup attack is going to mean that Aquila is sitting firmly within the lead. And man, it just hasn't looked like DeBuzz has been able to find his footing this game. Yeah, it certainly has been a lot rougher, but I, I, I would even give credit just to Aquila finding his, quite honestly. Absolutely. He's given himself a good stance in the ring. and. He's got his uh, he's got his knees locked and his arms ready. He's ready. <laughs> he's good to just take a good push. He's got mom spaghetti, but he's definitely not nervous. <laughs> he's holding the lead against the buzz right now. There we go. The wall is back up, trying to farm these resources. You can see right now he's got the diamond online, mm. both on the pick, but also in the back pocket. So if he does lose this stock, he will be playing on the last one with the diamond in hand as well. And now, which is so messed up. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's good. <laughs> All right, missing the missing the nil on that block means that the combo doesn't net quite as much as it could have. But I mean, 140, you've got yeah. a ton of value out of this stock already. DeBuzz needs to find this pretty quick. Yeah, things are starting to fall apart. There's a chance to clear it out right here. The dash tag doesn't connect proper. He's gonna live that little bit longer. We're out of mats though on the side of Aqua. One good touch, clear him out. There. Oh, what? Seriously? He lived an F smash at 170%. Someone, someone show us the hungry box cam. This guy's <laughs> losing, his, losing his mind right now. <laughs> Sakurai's grand vision, man. <laughs> Add walls to the stage. You made the stages legal. You <laughs> Not anymore, brother. Not anymore. I will get my walls in here one way or another. I will shut down your tournaments. As, as intended, honestly. As intended. All right. Back on. 110%. It's a brutal spot. The fair not quite going to clear it out. Oh, and Alcala oh, just well. refreshing the diamond there for Sport. The dash attack is going to take him out into Buzz. Shoot. I mean, he didn't He didn't look bad. He didn't no. look bad. He didn't find those big moments that we saw in game sure. one. And unfortunately, those were what kind of allowed him to secure that lead and then maintain that lead. Alcala living to 140% plus yeah. makes it much more challenging for these guys. Uh, and specifically to Buzz in this case, to, to win those games and, and, sure. and to make it happen. So I'd like to see him 
play with just kind of the same confidence that we saw originally and yeah, we didn't. We it didn't really just it, it's mixing the patient play, like we said, that we expect with those aggressive bursts from Debuzz because we saw how good they can be. Mm. One thing that does worry me a little bit though is Akula didn't have any big moments. He didn't get a no. you know a Steve combo kind of thing that we all know and tolerate, I guess. <laughs> like, you know, there weren't any anything crazy coming out of him, so it makes you wonder what happens when he does start to touch him up for those big points. Yeah, it, it's tough, and Rosalina being a little bit floaty and a little bit lighter means that the combos are a little bit weird on here. Sure, but, sure. I mean, Steve's a character that can get big combos on every single character in the game, and actually, Aqua's own block changing the trajectory of that recovery a little bit, uh, able to get back nonetheless, and to buzz. It almost Ooh. seems like when things are going that right, DeBuzz is really finding a lot of these back airs. And so I'm wondering what the situations being set up are, are where the where the back air is so, so good. And actually the tech Not there quite. to break the blocks with the dash attack was so good. I love using the down beat to just eat up Anvil. It's going to be so much more dangerous for Aklo to land like that. Like it should eventually just take away that option in his own mind. All right, Akala resetting now in the neutral, trying to get some more of these resources online, building the little wall behind him just in case, but DeBuzz actually ready to combo off of it there. But Akala with the stall on the down B puts DeBuzz in a tough situation at the ledge, trying to play around this wall himself. Oh, almost had the cut there. Great punish. Yeah. On shield, nice and easy. We get that up smash. We get ourselves a stock, and DeBuzz has a little bit of room to work. Yeah, man, that was a really nice punish from DeBuzz. A little bit of a greedy option coming out of Akola. I mean, when you're Steve, when you got Anvil, it, it, it almost it doesn't feel greedy, oh. but that low to the ground, you can get a big punish, especially if you're at Rosalina and have a, a, an up smash that is that good. Mm -hmm. Just a good scoop, good hit, nice kill. Still, a lot of room to be worked with. Never mind on this stock is what I was going to say, but we'll move on to the next one right quick. And I, I, think, I, I, I think something we've learned is there's never a lot of room to work with with Steve. You know, DeBuzz has a 60% lead point, right now, point. but we are one up tilt away from it being Aqua favored, and we've seen time and time again, he is so good at finding these oh. moves, and honestly, screw that, Lume in particular. No, and then the, yeah. The full wrath. <laughs> Poor kid got tossed in the lava. Shouldn't have dug straight down. All right, these parries now so good from oh. Aqua into the fair. All right, now at the ledge, mixing it up. DeBuzz finding his way off, but not finding his way out of disadvantage until that trade. Back at the ledge now, Akula fighting his way out, and the mix-ups on Minecart, man. Akula is so good at using Minecart in situations when you don't expect him to, or, or you think it's kind of a weird option, and there's just so much reward for the amount of creativity that you can bring to Steve, and Akula demonstrates that constantly. Mm. The terrifying thing is it's even just a good move in the expected spots. It's just a terrifying burst option. Uh oh. And that extra layer just makes them that much better. Absolutely. Ooh. No Luma online now to buzz. Tough to kill. Play elusive. Look at him. Unwilling to engage. It's scary to do against Steve. You have to give up so much. It's a really it's interesting okay. interaction, oh. actually, on the side of the Buzz and the Cola, because the yep. Buzz doesn't want to approach while the Luma is offline. He wants to wait for it to come back, but the cost of not approaching Steve in that situation is the so amount heavy. of resources that he gets to build up, and so it kind of forces Rosalina to play uh, against Steve in those situations, and now Akola finding that stock very, Ooh. very early, and 136 on him. Not healthy, but we've seen how long Steve can live in the right situations, and this is one Diamond F smash away from a game. Yeah, set up the box, keep yourself alive, and just continue to chip away at the buzz. Akula is poised to take this game. His to lose. The buzz, not out. As long as you can push buttons, so long as you nice, got a stock, very nice. you got yourself a chance. Yeah, calling out uh, the minecart with that up air. I mean, always a great option from DeBuzz, and looking to put some damage on very quickly here. The minecart going to separate the two as Akula heads back to the ledge. Ooh, good stuff there. The back air? Grab. The back air? Oh, no, he didn't get the Luma punish. I like the idea. He's trying to, like, drag him back into himself. Dr drag him back into uh, Rosa, I mean to say. Just didn't get the connection. All right, the pressure is on now. The Luma is gone. Akula actually going out of his way to get rid of oh, the Luma. No. And it's a no-fly zone, brother. Yeah. It's a no-fly zone. And I think people... I, I mean, there's a lot of things to be said about Steve, but I mean, one of the most underrated and something we've seen Aqua do time and time again right. is just find those F smashes. 
just raw when people whiff. And because in those high pressure situations or in those last stock situations, you're not always thinking about the consequences of every single option that you might be doing. And especially with something like Rosalina back air or nair, mm. that's usually a safe option to just come down with, yep. right? Yeah, you that's why he landed so aggressively. Yeah, you don't usually think too, too much about it, but Aquila having just the perfect spacing on the forward smash and able to punish yeah. it so, so hard. That move is so good, man. Yeah, brutal stuff you'll take away that stock and a brutal way to start this one. Already 52. Not... Uh, not looking good for DeBuzz out the gate, but hey, there's a lot more race to be run. Absolutely, man. I mean, 56%, it's almost like the Steve tax. Yeah. You, you just expect to start around there uh, based on what you get hit by. And I, I'm sure at this point, top players, especially players that, at the caliber of DeBuzz, not, 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 not too tilted by getting hit by that. The problem is now, if you're unable to put that percent back on Alcola, and if you're unable to get yeah. some of the momentum that you needed from that game one. Oh, big parry. Maybe getting a little too predictable with those back airs. It looked like it was the move to solve the matchup at a moment ago, but I think Akula's just got the timing down. You can even see that he's shielding in those same spots. Yeah. It was the same spot he put out the back air last time. Like now now Akula's almost fishing for the parry to get more out of it. I mean, it's it's such a good demonstration of adaptation, especially mm. from on the side of Akola. Maybe not used to how big the back air was, especially with the way the, sure. the buzz is positioning Luma. Getting used to it throughout the course of the set, and now able to either parry, shield, or just space around it as he pleases, and it makes a huge difference. Now accumulating a lot of resources as DeBuzz waits for that Luma to come back, but finally Luma is back, and I really love the tech that DeBuzz is using to get rid of the blocks. Unfortunately, it hasn't been enough to stop the power of those diamond back airs. And not, not on the same power level by any stretch of the imagination. We've got atomic bomb and coughing baby right here. <laughs> Forty-four percent though, not out of it. Jeez, there's another F smash as you were saying, but. I was going to say, he's not that far out of it in terms of percent, but now at 72, he's not long for this oh. world. Not quite. That didn't kill? It didn't kill. That oh. won't either. All right. Thanks, town and city. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. High blast zones. Sometimes you just can't quite get rid of them. We get one little Luma up there. I'm sure we figure it out, but to Buzz struggling to find kills in these later games, and Aqua simply not the same. Just easily reaching at any point in time that he wants that stock off the stage. He's so good at finding those men. And it, it he almost makes it look trivial. He makes it look yeah. easier than it actually is. Finding F smashes like that is not easy, especially against top players. Aquila is willing to capitalize on any little situation that is given to him, and he always does so near optimally. A little accidental okay. air dodge off stage means he's in a little bit of a tough spot, but the buzz only getting about 38% for it means that Aquila still oh, no. firmly within the lead of this game. This is tough stuff. Buzz kind of hung out to dry right now. Luma going to be out of the game immediately. Dude, Luma is getting man. bullied on the other side of the ball. It's, like, it's almost like he's being sent to jail, man. <laughs> hey, man, that's Qui-Gon. Darth Maul, Darth Maul dropped that man quick. And interestingly enough, we have not seen Aquila go for the diamond here. He has one in reserve, but has chosen Whoa. to not build it into Buzz with Good the nair spot. into the down air, converting so early. Oh, he's got it back. A little quick horse guard. Oh, so good. God, I love that. Yeah, using the uh, the lunar landing back air into the grab for a bigger conversion to Buzz. Trying to space around this wall, but it's so hard, man. Aquila, as soon as he sets up that wall, has a series of neutral mix-ups that just favor him. Mm. Oh, boy. That was a tough position. Great reaction there uh, from DeBuzz. And also Luma kind of taking the brunt of it. Absolutely. Luma down, but DeBuzz trying to keep the pressure on, trying to make sure Aquila doesn't get too much resources, but he is so winging back airs right now because he knows the next one is absolutely at a great fair on the side of DeBuzz. All right, back to center stage. Oh. So many <laughs> so many walls. Oh my goodness, someone swing. My O2 brain is going crazy. Someone hit a person. All right, back off stage now. Akola recovers high. Ah! Oh, misses oh, the back that's air. Enough, that's Luma. Oh, he's oh, a liar. And now misses the fair. Trying to set up the Luma now. Akola Pull rolls back. in. DeBuzz not ready for the up smash. Oh, it's still tethered out. Oh my oh. gosh. Oh, that's it. That's got to be it. That pressure from DeBuzz. Who is that guy? 
That pressure. I need him in my corner. That pressure. From, that pressure. No, 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 no. That pressure. That pressure from the buzz was insane. We need to talk about the composure that you need to have to mm. puppet Luma like that in a last hit situation with your winner's life on the line to go into a game five. DeBuzz looked unshakable. Shooting out Luma and just waiting, seeing what happened, pulling it in, trying to bait Aquila into a panic option and finally, finally getting it. That is mastery of this character. DeBuzz through and through an 80 soda commercial, crisp and clean. No caffeine, <laughs> as he's just so composed the whole way through. There's no other way to say it. The buzz. It's a quick game five. Puts his finger up. He said, "He said, good GGs." Yeah, hey, I got my last one. I go on my own terms. I I don't know if he's. I think yeah, probably trying to get a drink, just trying to take a break. I think honestly, I respect it from the buzz. Yeah, yeah, take a moment. I think you come out of a of a really tense situation like that where you're on the last hit of things. Uh, and you just managed to clutch it out. Take a second. Take a breather. Rezone yourself. Do some deep breathing. Four seconds in. Hold. Four seconds out. Yeah, a little box breathing. Little box breathing little for box you. Breathing. The mindfulness techniques at Battle of BC. The buzz feeling good going into this last one, but we've seen time and time again how good Aqua is in these game five situations. Absolutely. And right now, too. They have nowhere to be but here. They are 100% in the moment, ready to try and run this one down. Yeah, the FD pick, actually an interesting one too. Going to allow Steve to use those uh, nil combos if Akola is able to find them. And these walls are building up early. DeBuzz has been doing a great job at uh, at breaking them though. And the tech we've seen uh, the with, up -tilts, yeah. with the up tilt into the air dodge or the dash tag into the air dodge have looked really, really good throughout this set. DeBuzz, Definitely came prepared, and that's what we expect from him. Without a doubt. I mean, th this is a, a paramount player of the Smash scene. They've been around for so long. DeBuzz has been the, the top of three games now. I don't know what he did in PM. But, like, <laughs> the guy's been around. Absolutely. You don't, you don't get to be around and in the public eye that long without having some level of skill to back you. Uh, but that being said, you know, Aqua hasn't been around for near the amount of time Ooh. and has the results as if he had been. Absolutely. Kid is insane and shows no signs of stopping. An absolute runaway train. And a lot of runaway minecarts. Yeah, Speaking man. Of. Actually using the block there to change the trajectory of the minehart, set up a mix-up against the buzz. He's fun with it. He's doing He's it doing again. A lot. Yeah, this is interesting. He's actually using FD in a really unique way to play at that kind of full hop height with the blocks and it's kind of been throwing the buzz for a bit of a loop he's just kind of been disengaging in those situations because i don't think he's likely too familiar with them yeah i don't i, I feel like i haven't seen aqua do this before <laughs> he, he has a couple of times and okay it's per in particular on fd but it's always really interesting to see because i don't really see other steves do it quite like he does in these situations oh, oh. my gosh luma Can't tell mr president oh well we're down anyways I mean, Luna only has so many lives to give. Except get down, Mr. President. The president still died on the back end. <laughs> Shoot, tough stuff. To buzz. Oh, he's gonna get worked. He's up against the wall, literally. But he doesn't get too much out of it. Oh, no punish on that. The back swing of the down smash. So he's just covered up just enough. But running out of the mats now is Aqua. Oh, it's tough to approach. No Luma. You're scared to try and poke things away. And the game just slows to a crawl. And look at that. He's got steel for days again. Yeah, man. That is such an unlucky time to lose Luma for DeBuzz. He's been doing such a good job of making sure Aqua didn't have any materials left. Making sure that he didn't have much left in the tank. But as he loses Luma, Aqua is able Ooh. to take those situations. But a great up smash from DeBuzz equalizes the stock count at the very least. But Aqua. Willing to play the slow game here, willing to make sure that he's able to get rid of Luma and make the most of those situations. It is time to farm, it brother! It is. It is. We're digging straight down. We're getting everything we can, and we're leaving to buzz on the other side of the wall. Stay out of my mind. And this is getting scary now. The diamond online on the side of Akola and 85% on to buzz means that okay. a back air near the side of the stage is going to kill. That being said, Akula has to find a way out of disadvantage, and what better way than the minecart? Good threat with the Luma. Akula, very respectful of it, too. Watching it the whole way across, not letting it sneak up on him. And we can't exactly Nana save Luma. There's no... You can't, you can't star recall it. 
and the threat the from these goes. back airs now is so significant for the side yeah. of the bus. He cannot afford to take one nearly anywhere on the stage, and Akola more than willing to just head to Stardew Valley. Almost, man. He's just farming mats on the other side of the stage to Buzz, trying desperately to get in and slowly pushing Akula towards the corner, but it's not going to be enough. You need to put some percent on. Oh, hold on. Has a chance here. Good roll, but, and we're back. Damn. He's trying his best. He's got Luma on the other side of the wall occasionally. The actual problem that Alcola is running into right now is he's running out of diamonds because he's mining so much that he's losing the pickaxe and has, oh. or he's losing the shovel and has to refresh. Mm. That being said, he does have one back in reserve, so not a problem as he's able to find that stock. And now DeBuzz has a little bit of work ahead of him. He cannot afford to play this game with Alcola and the walls on the side of the stage. It just allows too many materials gained, and Alcola only actually working with four right now. That's huge for DeBuzz. It means that he's not going to be able to set that wall with him without Luma. Like, it, it's just an oh, elong wow! It's an elongated war of, att of attrition. Not that a war of attrition is supposed to be quick. But shoot, DeBuzz is playing as best as he can, and Akla still managing to hold him out a long time. And that was excellent conditioning on the side of the buzz. He actually hit the nair and so far has been converting that across the board. Yep. In this situation in game five, okay. choosing to wait for the air dodge for the big F smash punish means that the buzz even stalks Aqua out of materials. The diamond isn't online and now stuck at the ledge. So many mix-ups are offline for Aqua right now due to the lack of mats, trying desperately to mine and still no iron F online. Throw? What? Why are we not putting him off stage? All right, the diamond back online. This means very scary percentage for the buzz. The double. the double parry coming through the F smash would have been it. He's got one mine cart and one anvil on right now. Two, the buzz has to be wary, but really, really low on resources and just like that, not so. Oh so no, that might, that will absolutely. Don't spike it. Oh, I get you. I get you. Man. That's tough. That's tough to be a part of. Puppeting Luma there at that last little end, tries to get something going, but a quick reaction from Akula to just get above him and swing down. <laughs> yeah? Just, a weaker DeBuzz spiked that. <laughs> a weaker, a weaker DeBuzz spiked that. I, I, I was like... <laughs> I get it. I, no, I the, get I, it. I, I, it's I, a I, tough I, spot. I mean, very start stuff from Akula. I mean, one of the best things that Steve has is that ability to disengage from situations like that. Almost every scramble situation really leans towards Steve Favor because of sure. how much reward he gets off those scramble hits. Yeah. Whether it be the minecart, the anvil, up tilt, all of those situations, if Back your timing is a little bit off or you're a little bit inconsiderate about what's coming on, yeah. it is so, so easy to lose your entire stock. A couple of replays on the set and man, it was about as close one, as... A yeah, man, when back air was all you needed to take the game, man, that's what it felt like. And houses were, were 80,000. <laughs> Jeez. But you can just see the way that Akla started to, you know, develop what was going to happen here. You start seeing a lot more of putting the wall behind yourself. And then it's like, well, hold on, why am I putting it in front or behind myself when he can't even break it without Luma? Once we saw that come through in game four, it's just an absolute disaster. <laughs> this is actually the exact moment where I was like, can we get the hungry box cam going? <laughs> he was like that all set. The man is so expressive. I mean, definitely uh, teammates with the buzz, both True. with the liquid sponsor. Right, right, right. So many close moments in this set, man. It truly, truly could have gone either way, but I, I have to say really, really good job to Akala. His adaptation is always so on point, and it is worth saying that there is no one in the world who pilots Rosalina at the level that DeBuzz does. No, without right? question. And so playing him in bracket is always this test of if you're able to adapt to the new things that he's brought out mm. and the new things that he brings to the table. And so, so, so many nice. times DeBuzz is innovating with the character, but Alcola, an innovator in his own right and able Absolutely. to adapt to these situations. <laughs> you see the pop-off again. People waiting in bated breath and DeBuzz... I actually hit the pop-off on the game four, man. This meant a lot to him. Unfortunately, this game five, so close, yeah, man. Yeah, was fighting with everything he could to get that winner's bracket to keep on going. But it, you know what? Man, Akla's just been that guy 
for a good, good while. Like, the second that we started hearing about him, it was like, oh, oh, this is our new god, huh? I mean, there's a very real reason why Akola is in contention for the best player in the world. <sighs> I hear it is. Ah! <laughs> good hold. Good hold. I, I respect it, man. I, I, I think extra points for that. Yeah. E extra points for that. Because if it's me, if, if it's anyone in Twitch chat right now, that that controller's gone. We're, we're headed to the boot to get it fixed right about it's, now. It's tough, too, because, like, a nice controller toss feels yeah, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it, feel, it feels kind of nice. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do it. <laughs> don't toss do it. In, do it in your own home. Uh, don't, well, don't build the habit, but like, it feels kind of nice. Uh, but it's tough. It's tough. Especially when, like, this means everything. You know, yeah. you show up to an event like this where it's stacked to, to hell and back. You know, you've got just 